time now is 6.16. Yeah. Yeah. What puppy paws possible this morning? How was your walk with Sammy yesterday? It was pretty good. Honestly, we just walked around the block three times. I didn't feel like driving anywhere or anything yeah. like that. A little Nothing too tired, but... Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Any little bit helps, yeah. right? He was uh, happy. Yeah, <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, let's talk about uh, the weather this morning that may not make you as happy, especially if you get caught under one of these uh, downpours. But honestly, if you're watching right now and you're concerned about you know the rest of today, the coverage is going to be decreasing as we progress through the morning hours. What we're tracking on the only live radar in the state, you can see a few downpours up towards, say, Woodstock, uh, just north of uh, stores. Everything's sliding eastward right now with time. We also of some new development right over New Haven. So it is uh, pouring uh, buckets there for you. No lightning being detected. Uh, certainly a lot of fog and uh, low visibility. Chester and Groton, so the southern part of the state, uh, much foggier than the northern part. And where we see in the background there, that is Middletown. So yeah, looking pretty good there, just socked in with the clouds. Let's check in with our weather watchers. Jackie and Higginham reporting 58. Lauren East Hampton says 59. Chris and uh, Kelly's at their house in Watertown, it's 59 degrees. And also checking in Bosra, it's 56. Madison, 15. 958 for Ed in Killingworth. All right, right now it's fine in Waterbury. We're tracking overcast conditions, 59 degrees. The winds are calm. Visibility looks great. You'll start to see some sunshine breaking out late morning. Now, during the afternoon, a few more clouds develop, and there could be a pop-up a shower, but generally uh, looking dry most places, just a small chance. And your high will get into the 80s. Now, they do have the Memorial Day Parade starting at 1 o'clock today in uh, Waterbury. So again, uh, the weather should be uh, hopefully cooperating for that. If you headed down to the shoreline, which I did yesterday, I saw so many people outside enjoying the weather. Well, you'll be able to do so again today. High temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to the upper 70s, warmer back to the west. Uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, your tide cycles, high tide at 1224 New London, New Haven about 214. So again, warm temperatures are going to be inland and the temperatures down towards the shorelines, kind of more seasonal weather you would experience this time of year, but we've been tracking above average warmth lately. Tomorrow we start off with a few showers. There may be some impacts to uh, some of your outdoor plans. I would say that better chance starts to kind of ramp up, especially in the evening hours. So again, there will be a passing shower or two tomorrow. The threat for excessive rainfall sets up tomorrow evening into the overnight. Let's show you how things will kind of play out. So this morning round moves on through. There's 8 o'clock. It's finishing up across the southeastern part of the state. Several hours go by of dry weather. Then during the early afternoon, we can roll out a few pop-ups, especially across the northern part of our state and then we're dry again through this evening. Spotty showers possible, otherwise just overcast with areas of fog through Monday morning. And Memorial Day during the afternoon, that's when we get a higher chance for scattered showers building on through. And then scattered showers and thunderstorms will be a part of the mix. That's Monday at 8 p.m. and ongoing through very early on Tuesday before uh, conditions kind of quiet on down. So the heaviest rain, hopefully when most of the activities are kind of wrapping up uh, for Memorial Day, squeezing those parades, things like that with uh, a little worry. Next week, we have some changes in the forecast, especially uh, late week looks like a nice taste of uh, what we should be experiencing for this time of year, if not slightly below average with lows in the low 50s and highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. That's your first alert forecast.